Hello, it's me, your friend from school. So my the most popular video on my YouTube channel is by far the one where I created a retro TV station using a Raspberry Pi. Well now, I have updated that process and it's much better than it used to be. And uh, we'll talk about the differences. Here we go. Do you guys remember what it was like in the 90s when you would just turn the TV on and a show would be playing and you would just watch the show that was playing? Well, I'm bringing that back with all your favorite 90s shows and it's even better than before. Um, so what's different about the Raspberry Pi TV station this time? Well, it's using a, a Python script for all of the programming logic. What now what happens is when you boot the Raspberry Pi, it'll play the videos automatically just like before. But now it starts with TV commercials and it'll play one show and then it'll play TV commercials for three minutes and then it'll play the next show and then TV commercials. None, no more of this random video stuff. It's much better than it used to be. Um, it still has a schedule morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And now it has a holiday schedule for Christmas and Halloween. And best of all, watch this, a TV guide channel. That's right. We have a TV guide channel. Now it's the TV guide channel is really a glorified file picker. This is not really showing what the schedule is, but it is showing what videos are in the time slot that you're in. Um, and you can select a show by pressing the down arrow key on your keyboard. You can use the yellow cursor to pick the next show you're going to watch. Pick any show that is in here. The shows are randomly picked from whatever happens to be in the time slot folder that you created. And we'll talk more about that. But uh, once you find a show that you want to play. Here we go. Ren and Stimpy. It'll play some more commercials. Now we got uh, Ren and Stimpy playing. Now you don't have to have commercials. If you don't want commercials, just, just don't add them to the Raspberry Pi. And you don't have to have commercials. Okay, do you want to know how to set this up? Let's learn how to set this up. Okay, here we are. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 for this. Um, Raspberry Pi 3B, but you can use a Raspberry Pi 4 or probably any other model. Um, I did notice that the composite video output does not work with the newest version of the Raspberry Pi OS called Bookworm. So you want to use the older version called Bullseye if you're going to use composite video. You'll need a micro SD card. Uh, I suggest 128 gigabytes or larger. Uh, you will need an internet connection or and a connection to your local network um, for file transfers. Okay, once everything is installed and running, we will install the uh, required software. Before we start, I suggest you take note of what your IP address is. So you click on the terminal at the top and you can find out what your IP address is by clicking or typing if config and press enter. And then uh, you'll find an IP address. Um, in this case, the one we're looking for is on the wireless uh, internet. Uh, it's like the one halfway down, 192.168.0122. That's my IP address. Yours will probably be different, um, but take note of that. Let's work on installing the required software. Uh, let's close terminal, open up a new one. And the first thing we're going to do is update, do an update. So we'll type in sudo apt update and and apt upgrade dash y we'll do an upgrade okay if you see any errors no problem just go to the next step next step is install vlc that's our player we're going to use to play all the videos sudo apt install vlc dash y we're going to do that um, we want python and tinker so we need to install both of those uh, python comes with raspberry pi so you probably won't need to install that uh, so we're going to go sudo apt install python3 dash tk space dash y. Next, we're going to install pygame. That's another component we need. We're going to go pip3 three, oops, three install pygame. Already there. All right, we're doing good. Uh, next, we're going to install a program called unclutter. This is to hide the cursor when videos play. 
Don't mind my typos. sudo apt install unclutter dash y. Next is a program called xdo tool for controlling VLC. Um, so let's do that one. sudo apt install xdo tool dash y. Okay, next we need um, ffmpeg. So that helps play videos. Uh, helps convert compressed video files if needed. Not required for playback, but super helpful when prepping your content. sudo apt install ffmpeg dash y. Uh, before I forget, you'll want to make sure SSH is turned on. So go to Preferences, go to Raspberry Pi Configuration. Go to the Interfaces tab and make sure SSH is checked on. And then click OK. OK, SSH is going to be for FileZilla. So make sure you download FileZilla. Make sure you know how to use FileZilla to connect your Pi and transfer files because we'll be using that a little later. OK, at this point, we're going to start creating the file folders for the TV shows. So let's open up the browser, the file browser, or the file explorer. So we're going to make our folders inside the user folder. Um, so in, on this system, the user folder, I named it the 90s. You can name it anything you want. Keep that in mind because we have to edit the script to point to whatever user you happen to, to use. So we're going to change that later to the 90s. Anyway, in this folder, we're going to create a bunch of folders. All right, so inside here, we're going to go into video. And then here, we're going to go new folder, and we're going to call it 90s space shows, all lowercase. Click OK. Inside this folder, we're going to create a few more folders. We're going to go 01 morning. This will be our time slots. Next folder, 02 afternoon. Next folder, 03 evening. Yes, and the next folder, you guessed it, 04 night. There we go. And then inside each of these folders, you're gonna create some subfolders for any channel name you wanna use. So as an example, and these can be anything, we can go Nick for Nickelodeon. We could say, you know, comedies. It could be, I, I suggest keeping it around four, four letters. C, M, D, Y, comedy channel. I guess. <laughs> uh, new folder, Fox. Fox Kid, all of our Fox Kid shows can go there. New folder, what else? Discovery. Discovery Channel, okay. Uh, what you could do is you can copy these into the other folders if you want, or each, each block can have their own, their own folders. So whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But for this, I'm gonna just copy the same folders into each one. Okay, so now all of our channels, all of our, all of our time blocks have channels within them. And then all of your video files will go inside the channel folder. Next, back in videos, the same folder where 90 shows exist, we're gonna create a new folder. And it's gonna be called holiday underscore specials. Spell it right. <laughs> If you don't spell it right, it's going to break. And inside this folder, we're going to create two new ones. This is optional. You don't have to do this. We're going to create one for Halloween, for all our Halloween shows. And we're going to create one for Christmas, for our winter holiday shows. I only have the two holidays. No other holidays are programmed into this. Some additional folders we're going to need under videos. I suggest you use these uh, if we want commercials. We're going to do commercials underscore day. Commercials underscore night. So we can have those shady 1900 numbers commercials. And then additionally, commercials Halloween and commercials underscore Christmas. And those are the folders. All right, switching over to FileZilla. We're going to copy the two Python files. Python files will be linked to in the description. Download these two Python files. One is called tvguide2.py. 
The other one is called tvplayer.py. Remember the IP address I had you write down earlier? This is where we're going to use it. So go to File, go to Site Manager. Um, over here, make sure you have SFTP SSH file transfer protocol picked from the drop down menu. This is where you put in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. You can leave port blank. Logon type is normal. User is the username from your Raspberry Pi. In my case, it's the 90s. And then whatever password you happen to have set. Click Connect and click OK here if you get that. And now we'll see that these folders have just populated. Now we want the two Python programs to go into the Documents folder. So we can just take them both, drag and drop them over. And there they are. Okay, now that the two uh, Python scripts are there, we can look at them on the Raspberry Pi. So go to Documents, and here they are. There are a couple of changes we need to make, though, because the default um, scripts have home slash pi as the, the path. So we'll need to open each of these and make a small edit. Um, so we'll click right, click Text Editor. You'll want to change anything that says pi, and you'll want to change that to whatever the username is for your system. So we're going to change that to uh, the 90s. There's that spot. There's one spot here, a little bit below it. The easiest thing might be to go search, find and replace, type home slash pi, and replace it with home slash the 90s, or whatever it happens to be. Oh, you want to click. Oh, you want to click replace all. And there we go. Replace all. All right, there we go. That should have done it. All right, very good. So save that. Let's do the same thing with the other script. Open in the text editor. And we'll just do find and replace. Replace all. Done. Save. Make sure you save. Okay, next we're going to create the keyboard shortcut that opens the guide. Uh, we're going to do that by editing open box config. Okay, so open the file explorer. Make sure you go to view. Make sure that show hidden is checked so we can see hidden. Now from the home screen, click etc. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we are looking for a folder called this one, xdg. So go into xdg, then find open box, and then find lxde-pi-cm.xml and copy it. We're going to create a new one. Go back to your home screen, or your home folder, click uh, your name, your Pi's name, then dot config, and then we want to create a new folder in here called open box. Open box, click OK, go into your open box, and then paste that file here. Now, we want to go into it and edit that with the text editor. And we want to find the keyboard block in here. So scroll down. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so about a quarter of the way down, you'll see keyboard. And it's got a bunch of key bindings. We're going to add our own key binding. We'll go to the bottom and put it right at the bottom. So here. So right after the last key bind, press Enter, Tab. Well, we want to make it the same. We want to make it in line with the other key bind that's right above it. So make it the same. And I'm going to copy from the instructions and paste it in there. Make sure it looks like uh, the other one above it. So that one is indented. Command is indented after that to about there. Action needs to be the same amount of indented as the one above it. And then key bind needs to be the same. So it's going to look just like that. A, G is our command. Alt plus G. Uh, we need to change pi to the 90s or whatever your name is. If you left it as pi, you don't have to do anything. And then save that. Save. Um, after that, we want to open a terminal and we're going to go open box space dash dash reconfigure and press enter. Okay. Close that, close that. Alt G should launch. There it is. I don't have any videos in there yet, but there it is. At this point, copy your video files onto your Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna go back to FileZilla for that. I'm now just 
on the left here, just find where you have your video files saved. A good place for video files is the Internet Archive, but you can rip your own video files from DVDs or get them however you want, record them from TV. Um, so you have them here on the left, that's where your computer is. And your Raspberry Pi is here on the right. Um, remember where to put them, under videos, 90s shows, and then wherever you happen to want them to go. In this case, this will be an afternoon block on Fox. I'll just grab all of these. Drag and drop. And they're going to copy right underneath. There we go. And remember, these, these videos are for demonstration purposes. If you happen to have commercials, you'll want to put them in your commercials folders, not in the channels folders. Between any show that is in these folders, it will play commercials from the commercials folder. Okay, next is to set up the auto start. Now we're going to auto start the program. So every time your Pi boots, your Raspberry Pi boots up, it starts the TV automatically. So uh, here's what you do. Okay, open the terminal, type sudo nano slash etc slash xdg slash lx session slash lxde dash pi slash auto start. Oh, make sure you spell it right. Pseudo. Okay, and at the bottom, we want to add at Python 3 space slash home slash the 90s slash documents slash TV player dot pi and then save it. Control X and then yes to save and press enter. Now reboot the pi and see if it works. There we go, it's playing. It's playing one of my test videos. But there you go, it works. And Alt G should bring up, bring up our guide. And there's our guide with my, uh, my placeholder shows. Uh, I didn't mention earlier, but you could use the mouse to select, to select a video also. Um, so he, there it is. Here's some bonus tips. One, right click here, say panel settings, and make sure, make sure we go automatic hiding. Minimize panel when not in use. So that's hidden. Also, we want to go desktop preferences. We want the color of the background to be black. Select. Hey, go away, Barney. And we want no image. We also want to hide the trash can. Uncheck the wastebasket right there. Okay, so now that's gone. So now between shows, it'll just be a black screen. Okay, here are some bonus tips. Go to Tools, Preferences, go to Video, and Aspect Ratio. Make sure that's set to 4.3. Whoops. And that's it. What do you guys think? You got any cool uses for this? You're going to go back to the 90s and watch the old shows you used to watch. Some shows I have on here. I have like Power Rangers, The Simpsons. I have Celebrity Deathmatch. I have Tiny Toon Adventures. I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've got commercials from Nick at Night. I've got commercials from Fox Kids. I've got all kinds of stuff. I've got 1-900 commercials. I've got old WWF on here. Um, fun stuff, really cool stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you for watching and have fun with your 90s TV themed retro station. See you next time, guys.